Hi everyone, welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens. My name is Blue Phoenix. So this is my plan vlog. Um, Mondays are my off days and I just kind of like take it really easy on Mondays and, and throughout the whole day I um, just clean my, clean my plant studio, care of the plants, uh, pot anything if I need to, um, go through emails, um, do cuttings, um, and then also I'll do a really cool, f like, short, um, video for Tuesday. So I'll film a, a brief video, uh, usually on Mondays. I know I said it's my off day, but, like, I'll usually film it more towards the night, because that's when I feel like that's when I want to do it. Um, I <laughs> go about this as, like, relaxed as I can, because that's y'all see that fly that's why we need to clean the room <laughs> follow my instagram for like all the latest like deals that i i post and then also uh, subscribe on my website for like we'll send out a uh we'll send out a coupon for your first purchase and then also um send out you send out like really like fun um newsletters with like recent upcoming events and other um, fun things okay so currently I am uh, going to clean my humidifier and then also uh, clean the leaves I'm gonna show y'all a fun uh, DIY uh, a fun DIY uh, cleaning uh, solution that I use uh, with at the at the plant store in order to yeah. like keep the clean the plants clean also just kind of like um i don't like using like pesticides and things like that so um yep all right everyone so i'm going to show you my diy pesticide that i've been um learning about uh there's a lot of various ways i'm going to go with this one um very simple uh, and then explore other options as well. Um, just kind of like wanting to review them all as well. Um, so uh, I'm gonna be using these with my garden. I have my tomatillo plant outside that we're gonna be using it on. So I'll show you. It has a little bit of like powdery uh, mildew and this will be great for that. It's been raining a lot, so it's attracted a lot of pests. Um, so what ingredients I'm gonna be using are 16 ounces of water, um, a tablespoon of vegetable oil uh, to kill the pest. Uh, don't use it for your sensitive uh, leaf, sensitive foliage plants because it will damage your sensitive foliage plants. And then I'm just using like uh, Mayer's uh, uh, eco-friendly soap. And I'm using about two pumps of that into my uh, water. And then I have a little spray bottle that I've been using. So I'll. I'll show y'all, um, and then I'm also going to be using it outside, and I'll show y'all how I use it. Okay, so, so we're using about a tablespoon of it. Water and oil do not mix. As you see here. So we're going to be uh, using the soap, two pumps. You're going to give that a good little mix. The soap is going to help with the water and the oil um, mixing well together. I saw a lot of um, people using this um, and I really wanted to explore this option and it wor has worked with people before so um, I really wanted to see how it would work. Then we're going to uh, place it into my little spray bottle here make sure I don't get myself wet there we go all right you want to give it a good shake when you're going to use it then we're going outside I'm going to show you on my tomatillo plant how it's going to work
everyone to uh, end this week's vlog. I am uh, showing you all my much needed propagation box. It's uh, a bunch of pothos that I really just grew from wet sticks basically like they were just little little bitty wet sticks and now they've fully grown um and i can't get them out like regularly because they're all in sphagnum moss like this so in order to kind of like s save the roots a little bit this is a pepperoni in here oh my god Oh nope, this is a pothos. <laughs> I'll show y'all. Look how crazy that is. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is soak this in water and then just let the let it soak for a little bit and then I'm just going to um, separate it slowly and then we're going to repot it super simple but yeah hope y'all like my videos that i've been putting out this month um i'm trying to work on getting more uh videos out to y'all and working on some other fun projects along the side so follow us on instagram um if y'all want to see my progress be right back Okay, so here is all the ones that I was able to separate that are pretty much like ready to be potted. There's like a handful of um, um, of another uh, set that isn't. So what I'm gonna do is just pot this up in air in the little in this container that I have here for it. And then I did save the sphagnum moss and I'm going to let it uh, dry out and then reuse it. I had a uh, mosquito, not a mosquito bit, but like the mosquito rings in there and I just stuck them in there so that way the it doesn't have any like pests. I wrung, wrung it out and then I also um, ensured there wasn't any, it, like it was, it was like disinfected and, every, and it was uh, also disinfected. So that way I could reuse it as, as well for um, my next props. With this one, I'm just going to uh, make it into a bundle. And then plant it that way. That's how I planted the other pothos that I had before and it just, it just worked that way for me. So I'm just like lightly grabbing them by like their leaf like this. There's so much. Oh my God. So basically what I'm going to do is I have them all by like their, their stems and then um, I've made a little like area for them to be placed in here in my, uh, in my nurse, in this nursery pot. So I'm just kind of like tucking them in like this. So sometimes I'll put like, I'll um, spread the soil on top of the whole container if it doesn't have any like tender leaves to it. And then that way um, it covers any exposed areas where I, I might have missed. Um, so basically right now I'm just kind of like tucking in any of the exposed areas with the roots, making sure the soil is covered. 
Ta-da! I finally got to it. I've been really needing to do this. Um, it's just been like something on my to-do list. Um, I like having pathos around and having them more viney and it's some of them that are like more like that I want to keep for my for my store and then learn about them and and hopefully eventually be able to put them um, on a pole. I have another one in the living room but for now I'm just gonna keep them in this like cash pot and um, water it and then just take it take easy care of it until it starts winding out and then I'll wrap both of them up into a, a, a into a cocoa choir pole I found cocoa choir poles are just like easier for me so that's I just it's really like you the way of whatever is easy for you all right everyone thank you so much for uh, watching my vlogs and then also uh, supporting me and my channel and uh, my little plant shop I really appreciate y'all supporting me and uh, seeing my event my little adventure and us growing and uh, you're always free free to comment in any of the videos and let me know if uh, how you like them and if you have any comments you all have an amazing day or amazing thank you so much y'all take care peace everybody bye <laughs>